Hey guys, it's your tech girl Mary and welcome back to our YouTube channel. Yes naman, full energy tayo ngayon. Medyo kakaiba yung setup natin because we are not in our usual studio. We had to bring down all our equipment as in lahat guys para tayo ay makapag-review ng isang TV. Yes, itong TV na nasa likod natin ngayon. We will be reviewing TCL's newest QLED TV, the C645 Color Master Television. And according sa TCL na brand, itong TV na to daw ay magbibigay sa atin ng outstanding color to have the best home entertainment setup. And to set your expectations, itong TV na nire-review natin ay mayroong 4K Ultra HD QLED with Dolby Vision Atmos. Meron din itong 120Hz game accelerator at syempre isa rin siyang Google TV. For me, there's a huge amount to consider when choosing a new TV. As you can see, I have here the 65-inch variant ng TCL C645 for review. Hindi naman ito technically yung pinaka-popular size when it comes to TCL TVs pero syempre ito yung pinaka-perfect size na babagay sa size rin ng sala na meron kami. So, this 65 inch is big but not too big. Kung baga, it's just the ideal size. Now, kung gusto nyo ng ibang size, syempre iba-iba naman tayo ng hanap at iba-iba tayo ng sukat ng mga sala or sabihin na lang natin ng mga kwarto natin. The TCL C645 is also available in 85 inch, 75 inch, 55 inch, 50 inch, and 43 inches. Physically, kung makikita nyo, napakagandang tignan nitong TCL C645. Probably because of its metal frame around the screen. Hindi lang yun, metal din yung dalawang stand na meron siya. Yup, this stand right here, guys. Actually, dalawa yan, nandun yung isa. Kasama na yan sa box kapag of course, binili nyo itong TV na to. Okay, so the very first thing that I noticed nung nilabas yung TV sa box is really the bezel. Grabe, sobrang nipis. Medyo natakot ako nung una ko paano ko siya ilalabas sa box. Wala akong video guys, pasensya na. Pero buti na lang, the way to get the TV out of the box, madali lang. So yes, as if walang bezels at all. The way this TV is designed is to make the borders appear narrower. Meron din itong TCL logo on the metal chain sa ilalim. And it also holds the IR receiver and indicator lights. And yung likod naman ng TCL C645 is plain black metal. I honestly was expecting plastic but thank goodness. It's metal, which really gives the TV a more premium feel. All the ports of the TCL C645 face to the right side of the screen, while yung power socket naman niya is on the left. In fairness, the TV is well equipped with three HDMI ports, one USB port, a LAN port, an antenna in socket, meron din itong digital audio out optical, meron din siyang single AV in socket, which can be used with an adapter. Meron din itong 3.5mm audio out socket for headphones or speakers. And syempre, pwede nyo rin i-connect yung TV nyo sa internet using Wi-Fi 2.4GHz and 5GHz. For me, yung ports and sockets niya, madali lang silang i-access. Overall, itong TCL C645 has an ultra slim body that allows the TV to fit seamlessly kahit sa mga lugar na hindi naman ganon kalalaki. So yup, indeed, it's a stunning addition dito sa aming sala. And the trivia lang guys, before this TV arrived here, TCL din yung TV na ginagamit namin for years already. And before that TCL TV, TCL din yung brand na ginagamit namin, pero mas maliit pa. So, yup, we really came a long way, guys. And the 65-inch na din sa wakas yung TV na meron kami. Perfect na perfect sa sala na meron din kami ngayon. Alright, so I did mention earlier that this TCL C645 ay mayroong 4K Ultra HD 
QLED display. Pero alam nyo ba, these days, karamihan sa mga TV ay merong LED backlit LCD panels, which are the most common and affordably priced televisions. Pero syempre, yung mga ganong technology ay may limitations lang at now hold back sila when it comes to performance. So for buyers looking for a more premium experience, OLED yung usual recommendation or hinahanap nila. Pero syempre, may compromise din ito dahil Medyo may kamahalan talaga. So, you hope they are out of most buyers' budget, including me. Fortunately, may middle ground. Dito na pumapasok yung QLED or Quantum Dot LED TVs. Itong mga TV na to, guys, they try to bridge the gap between LED and OLED by offering a boosted LED experience. And yup, this TCL C645 Color Master sports a 4K HDR10 Plus panel that promises accurate colors and exceptional clarity. Yung technology na meron na tong TV na to really leads to a natural looking picture and since HDR10 Plus is becoming standard nowadays, wala rin itong pinagkaiba dito sa TCL C645. Mas higher yung contrast niya with higher brightness, shadow, detail, and of course, very vivid colors. Well, knowing TCL din naman, again, this is not my first time using a TCL brand TV. They really offer great value for money over the past few years. They are often available at a lower cost sa mga competitors niya and can easily compete with higher-end models like Samsung and LG. And yup, this TV also has a Dolby Vision Atmos. We all know that Dolby offers vision and it provides HDR enhancement, while yung Dolby Atmos naman for surround sound audio enhancement. I noticed that whenever we play Dolby Vision content, the picture adjusts automatically. Specifically, I am quite impressed with how the TV performed with Amazon Prime Video, Netflix, and even Disney+. Plus. And aside from that, itong TCL C645 also has a 120Hz refresh rate for gamers to allow for high frame rate gaming on the latest titles. Of course, yung mga new generation consoles na meron kami sa bahay and yung mga meron na rin kayo, they support 120Hz gaming. And para makasabay ang mga TV brands, TCL has to find ways to deliver the best gaming experience possible. Actually, having 120Hz has become a norm on all mid to high end TVs. The faster the refresh rate, the faster it helps the TV to deliver a great gaming experience and most of them are ideal for console gaming because they support HDI 2.1 bandwidth for 4K at 120Hz gaming. Now, in terms of the sound quality, for me, TCL C645 sound just fine. It's clear enough at moderate volumes, and it is also tuned well for most movies and TV shows. And of course, we also tested a few Dolby Atmos sample clips. And I have to say, kahit papano, I felt like I was watching in a cinema. Lalong lalo na kung gusto nyo ma-achieve yung cinema-like. Given pa na medyo may kalakihan yung TV na meron kami. So yup, I'm looking forward on getting myself a soundbar. Okay, remote. Medyo kakaiba yung itsura ng remote niya, guys. Compared doon sa previous TCL TV na meron kami. Again, dalawa yung previous TCL TVs na pinanggalingan bago ito. This is how it looks like. Mahaba, the usual remote, pero meron na siyang mga shortcuts sa ilalim. Before, I only have a shortcut with Google and Netflix. Ngayon, meron na rin akong Prime Video, YouTube, VTV, TCL Channel, and QIY. Okay, alam kong may remote tayo, pero alam nyo ba na this TCL TV has hands-free voice control? Well, actually, hindi lang naman itong TCL C645, but as well as yung mga affordable TVs na meron yung TCL. Actually, requirement na nga to, to most Android and uh, smart TVs. Etong TCL C645 is always listening for a wake word or voice command, guys, na 
Okay Google and Hey Google. Kahit ano dito guys kung saan kayo komportable. This will let you access Google Assistant with only of course using your voice. Similar na rin kung paano nag-work yung mga speakers natin or smartphones. Ngayon, kung ayaw nyo, pwede nyo tong i-disable with a small physical switch sa bottom right corner ng TV. So far, yung voice control, it works well for me. I was able to give instructions sa Google Assistant ng TV na to, even beyond pa sa function niya. For example, requesting timers, reminders, or even information. Ngayon, kung enough nyo nga halimbawa yung Google Assistant sa TV mismo, pwede nyo tong i-access naman through the remote. Meron siyang sariling button and microphone for it. Itong Bluetooth remote na to, which runs on AAA batteries, which is of course kasama rin doon sa packaging, has the standard buttons to adjust the volume, para ma-access nyo yung settings and of course to change the source. The buttons are clicky and not hard to press. Actually perfect kahit na minsan hindi ka nakatingin sa remote. Ngayon, alam ko medyo malalim na to yung processor na meron nitong TCL C645 pero sa mga yun lang habol sa video natin. Siyempre, alam kong yung iba dito curious kung ano ang tumatakbo sa loob nito. It has the AI PQ engine. Kung baga sa cellphone, ito yung chipset na meron siya to provide advanced capabilities. Ang kinaganda nito, itong processor na to, is able to adjust the TV's brightness and sound according sa surroundings niya. And of course, it uses artificial intelligence through machine learning and algorithm to give a high quality display dito sa screen natin. All right. So, this TV, the TCL C645 na 65 inches is currently priced at 64,995 pesos. And for the 43 inches naman, it's 26,495 pesos. While yung pinakamalaking TV nito is 75 inch, is priced at 99,995 pesos. And as a buyer and a, of course, tech reviewer, I pay more attention talaga sa size, resolution, and type of screen na meron ng isang television. And while ang default ko lang when buying a TV before is an LCD display, I am glad that TCL's new series has made it possible for me to consider a better type of television without sacrificing the price. Overall, it's a great TV choice for me. Lahat ng hinahanap ko when it comes to a great home entertainment setup, nasa kanya. So yeah, kung interested din kayo sa TV na nire-review natin ngayon, I will be putting down the links sa description box natin and of course, the current prices. Kung may mga additional questions pa kayo na gustong malaman, let me know in the comment section below as well. And yeah, that's it. Again, it's your tech girl Mary and see you on our next video. Bye!